My name is Daniel Diener. I run an anchor level eBay business carrying around 7,000 inventory. Can I ask you how much the French instruction books are? Everything is 50 cents. Excellent. But you have to master the subjunctive. Mm. <laughs> I've heard about the French subjunctive. You can't, you won't trick me, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay. No, very, I was telling you, this is very impressive. Like the volume you were moving, I really, I never see that. It's a very fun experience to be able to meet 30 people in a morning. I like talking to people. I like the dogs that hang out there. I like looking at their homes and all the weird stuff they have. Circumstances such as this don't normally exist. That which makes pursuits meaningful is different for different people. And you know, that's good. Otherwise, everyone would be trying to be doing the same things. But I do think that we ought to find meaning and perhaps social purpose, at least on some level, in that which occupies most of our time. Everyone produces just ungodly mountains of waste, and it bothers me on a very fundamental level. The crap still has value, but our society doesn't teach us how to value it. And it's not just a wealthy person thing, that's a common misconception. Everyone is responsible for it. I don't think that I can challenge consumerism or environmentally devastating manufacturing channels on my own, but I can in my business at least kind of neutralize the pathway. So every time I sell a piece of clothing, that's one less article of clothing that needs to be manufactured and sent here through conditions that no one thinks are good. Repurposing something is just as much fun for me as it is to purchase it new. It's probably the most environmentally helpful thing that as an individual I can be doing. I don't think that everyone is obliged to be an activist or to sacrifice meaningful amounts of their lives towards a greater purpose, but I do think that it's part of who we are that we aren't satisfied with life unless there is some meaning that we derive from what we do.